all, here we are at the shop again. We have a very exciting mod that is long overdue. We have been sitting around looking at this PRS John Mayer SE Silver Sky. I think I got the order of all those things wrong, but <laughs> we're, we're making a change on this guitar. Maybe um, we'll, we'll just quickly talk about, I think this guitar is a great, really well-built guitar. Frets are really nice. Um, this is like the, I was thinking about it, like I think I was talking to you before, but I was thinking about this is the same price that my USA Strat was new in 98 oh, that wow. I purchased. So the same retail price point for an, an import guitar, which I think this is definitely a quality import guitar. We're not specifically specifically going to re be reviewing the, the features in the overview. We're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing to this guitar, why we're changing the pickups out. So maybe Marco, if you want to kind of give an overview of uh, the reason we are going to rip this thing open, I guess. Yeah, and so and this is another local customer guitar, uh, um, uh, an associate of Brian, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and um, You know, he's got a lot of guitars and he plays a lot of different styles and these yeah. are definitely kind of voiced in more of like a vintage ballpark, I would say. Yeah. And he just wants something a little more uh, like hi-fi, a little more modern, something that can handle a little, the gain a little bit differently in the bridge position because the pickup set that we're going to throw in there features kind of a, a special bridge or, you yeah. know, just like a, yeah, definitely. a heavily modded bridge, I think, <laughs> and it will uh, give a really good, unique sound. So it, it's not so much that there's anything wrong with this stuff. It's just that he really wanted to just explore the limits of what was possible in this thing. And it's interesting having a guitar for a while and understanding what it's, you know, what it sounds like, what it's outputting and, you know, once you get used to the feel and then to change something like the pickups or do a different mod, just to kind of hear what, what the guitar sounds like, what it's adding to the party and then what kind of the pickups do. And, you know, it's just fun being able to kind of do that and we can kind of take a closer look and show some of you guys that if you're curious about what's going on here, you know, cause even down to the knobs, like those, they look like traditional knobs, but they don't, they're not. They, yeah, they don't have the volume and tone printed on there. And even this like selector switch tip is different. Um, you can probably see here the plastic is still yeah, on there. It's brand new. So everything is new. We're just going to make that change. So for anyone that's been looking at uh, modding this guitar, this is an option. Again, like I think you mentioned it very well, like this is something that customer wanted. He has a lot of humbucker guitars. He's got a lot of stronger signal guitars and that's kind of what we're trying to do is just make this like you said match it up to it uh, i'm gonna hand this to you and show you the pickup set that yeah. we're gonna do we'll talk a little bit about this pickup set we're gonna open this guitar up we're gonna show you what is inside what's under the hood we haven't actually looked at it so yeah you're gonna be on this journey with us once we take this pick guard off and, <laughs> and see what's there so if there's nothing too wild but um for those people who like to tear apart guitars you're gonna be able to see inside this guitar maybe that helps you uh, not pull your own guitar open you can like use our video to to see that but we are going to throw in the hybrid plus strat set they're all all that magnetism is Stick sticking together. together. <laughs> so the hybrid plus, this is like a terrible way to show it. We'll, we'll show a close up shot. Some B-roll. <laughs> some B-roll because they are, they're very strong. So the hybrid plus, let me get this right up on the camera there. Mm. Look at those beauties. Hybrid plus is kind of one of our strongest uh, strat sets. It's got a big, really thick tone. I'm going to set them on an amp. They may fall off there. It's got a really big, thick tone. It's um, like you said, the bridge position has a steel base plate to add some extra thickness and chop some of the highs off. So he really wanted to be able to have a versatile guitar, but something that he can really rock out on the bridge. Mm -hmm. He has two different Mesa amps, but they're okay. they're more of like the cleaner, uh, well, they're all over, I mean, I can't remember the name of the model, but one of them does about everything. Mm -hmm. It's got all the little switches and knobs, and so he wants to be able to take this guitar and really dial it in for whatever he wants and play it, play it at the gigs and be able to do that. So the Hybrid Plus is gonna, gonna just really bring some more life to this guitar, get a little bit thicker, um, you know, just a little bit more dynamics and a little less bluesy. I don't think he wants to play a lot of blues on this, surprisingly, which some people will say, well, why did you buy the Silver Sky? <laughs> yeah. You don't really want to play that much blues. But that's the point is that he likes the guitar. He likes to feel. He likes to look, but he wants it to be different. So that's where we came in and we're going to dive into this project. And then we are going to share some sound clips of the pickups installed here in a bit. Um, just know, again, we're not going to share a ton of clips of what they sound like right now. You can go find those clips. Um, if you're looking for how it sounds stock, that this is not your video. Uh, we are we are ripping this thing open and modifying it. But if you're curious about how to mod it and what a hybrid plus might sound like in the in the John Mayer 
Silver Sky, we're gonna find out here in just a minute. Let's go over to the bench and start putting some pickups in. Yeah, let's get to it. I always start with taking the strings off real quick and sometimes I can get away with just taking the tension off and then we will evaluate the setup and see if we need to do anything. And one important thing to mention is you did it. You, you're doing the first good rule of uh, guitar work is making sure you have a little, a little bin to put all the uh, pieces into, right? Easiest thing to lose. <laughs> so make sure you do that if you're installing this. It's amazing how these, these screws are like guitar picks. They just disappear yeah. and you can never find them again. These tuners, I will say, have a nice feel to them. Okay, let's see if we're able to get in there. Yeah. So it seems like one of the wires is probably just really tight, maybe. Yeah, it's probably ground wire to the jack. Jack wires are maybe a little short. Yeah. So we might take the whole jack out. And we're going to be using these cool tools from Stumac, and we've got three different yeah. sizes. So chances are one of those is going to uh, <laughs> be the size of the nut in between. We're uh, professionals, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Of course, they probably did their own size just just because they could. So yeah, and, uh, and this is good though because we're this is what we're finding out right as we go through it. And it's pretty loose. I can kind of get it by hand almost. Maybe I can use the little no. We can probably just flip it around and unsolder. Unsolder. Unsolder those oh. connections if we need to get that guard out. Yeah. All right. So we were trying to remove this input jack nut because we couldn't get the pickguard through there. Oh, and I don't know if we'll be able to even get the jack out of there. Because it'll, we might just have to desolder it. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. And see, these wires are coming right out. So that's an interesting thing to note if you have a Silver Sky SE and you're kind of curious about it. Always there's a bridge ground too, so be careful to not just yank this right thing out of there. And you can see this very nicely routed cavity. Um, looks like it's just got the three singles route, so you can't do triple humbuckers or anything crazy like that unless you chisel this out. But look at that, that's a really clean pickguard yeah, and cavity. Amazing. I would uh, have used longer wires myself here, but uh, <laughs> It's just a very interesting with the shield tape coming down each side of yeah. the mounting screws. So yeah, it's a nice attention are, to detail. Yeah, so they're probably not uh, they're not stainless steel screw mounting screws like we use for our our guitars. It's so probably. I don't know if we want to get a close up of this at all. Yeah, I think it looks good and cool. So now at this point, we're just going to be ready to. Put in the new pickups, looks like fairly standard five-way switch that's in there. Yeah, there's a nice little twist. So this is pretty darn easy. You can see all the grounds are going right here. And there's like a little treble bleed or something going on right there. That's interesting. A little resistor. Mm. Tiny little guy. And um, I don't know, I just kind of make sure to note, I like to take pictures of this stuff just so you can put it back to how it was before you do anything, but you'll notice all of the hots for the pickups are just going on this side of the switch and the bridge is down here, middle, and then neck. And this stuff, we can all leave the same. We'll just have to move the ground right there too. You mentioned you're gonna be removing the hot in the ground wires from each pickup. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that now and then we'll get the new, the new set of hybrids uh, installed back in there. Yeah, I like to do the wires first and I'm just kinda of gonna go in, in an order and these look like they might be, yeah, pretty easy to get out of here. So if you don't know what you're looking yeah. for soldering iron wise, make sure you have at least a, a 40 watt soldering iron. Uh, we use the uh, the Hakko Digital, that's how you say it, the digital <laughs> irons that work really well in the shop. We've got four or five of them here in the shop. They, they work fantastic. But if you're doing this and you're on a budget, um, just make sure you have a 40 watt soldering iron. Be careful as you unsolder and re-solder the yes. items. Fine, but we got them, we got the ones we needed. Everything else is still attached. And now we will uh, take the pickups off of the pick guard. Okay, so we got the pickups off. We noticed that the covers are a little bit too, like they start to fit in there, but you wouldn't be able to adjust it. And you can kind of push it in there, but 
usually when you have to force things, it's not a, it's not a great idea. So we're just going to open up these cavities a little bit and uh, see if we can get these to fit in there a little bit better. All right, so now we're here, just slightly open. We got a really smooth yeah. file, just kind of slightly opening up the sides of the pickup routes. And, and you mentioned that it's really, it really is close as far mm -hmm. as where we're trying to get. So we're just doing this really carefully. You can do this with sandpaper. You just want to make it look really nice. We don't want it to look kind of super weird Shaky. for the customer. And yeah. This is probably my uh, super high tech. Let me make sure I can show this correctly in the camera. We're gonna take some 150 grit and we're gonna just roll it around a Sharpie. And that's gonna give us a quickly modified sanding stick. And that's gonna, that's gonna allow us to do the corners of these routes and again, kind of making it more smooth and have a have a nice uh, cylinder look to it. I, we've seen some, some pick guards that have been brutally hacked with uh, <laughs> who knows what. Um, don't suggest a razor blade. I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Very Especially sharp. when we're that close, we just want to take a little bit off, check the pickup fits, and then kind of go from there. So now Marco's going to kind of smooth those. This is again 150 grit, so it's enough to enough to kind of smooth those edges and kind of work that until it fits. And a little bit at, at a time, right? Even if it takes mm -hmm. you longer, spend more time to to do that. So you're running into this where. Sometimes you'll have an import guitar that, uh, you know, maybe a Squire or something like that where, where the USA pickups might not fit. This is the exact process that you're going to have to do for something like that. Yeah. And so, so you were mentioning you don't want it to be too tight and that's, and that's mostly for, would you say, just for adjustability so that it can freely adjust up and down. Obviously we don't want to jam the pickup in there. Um, yeah, usually just when there's there's friction and there's tension that just feel like that's when things break and I've seen the sides of these routes pinch the pickup and then you raise it up and then you kind of like snap it because it just uh you put in a bunch of pressure on it yeah. or it's like pinching it and obviously you're not wanting to sever any wires yeah it's like that so again slow and steady right that's it everything in guitar repair we all want to get the guitars modded we want to hear how they sound and um, just keeping in mind that we've got to make sure that we, um, yeah, that we have everything fitting right for, for one. And we, we're making sure this customer is, uh, you know, we're going to tell him what we did to the guitar, right? But he's not going to be able to see a bunch of weird stuff when he looks at his guitar. It's going to look nice and clean. It's going to look like it was meant, meant to be as far as the, uh, the modification. Yeah. All right. So we got him to fit. They're not going to sit all the way up. I mean, probably even about like right here and that's nice and they're nice and snug. They're not going to go anywhere if you kind of bump them with your guitar pick or anything like that. So we think they're looking pretty darn great. Now we're just going to drop them in there now. All right, so we got the pickups loaded in there, Hybrid Plus. You can see the uh, steel base plate we were talking about on the Strat Bridge pickup. We've got a nice little uh, clip there to hold onto the wire, and normally with strats, the route for the wire is in the middle. These, this one is kind of off to the side, so that's important to note. So I'm just kind of going to run the wires off to the side here and hook them up to the switch. This is now the easy and fun part. All of this other stuff is a little tedious. Yeah, one thing, <laughs> one thing I did notice, if you want to actually move that back, uh, sorry, the, uh, oh, the tile back. Yeah. If you look up here and forgive the camera noise here, but if you look up here, see the little uh, overspill of shield paint. That is so the shielded cavity is going to connect to our, our pickguard area and help ground anything that, that's there. So a lot of, we were just talking kind of off camera before we got these pickups in, is that there's a little bit of extra details under the hood that are, uh, you know, very thoughtful in terms of keeping noise down. and making sure it's properly grounded. As you know, with single coils, you're gonna have some noise, but this is gonna help them be a little bit better shielded. Yeah, it'll behave definitely a lot better. So I'll move the camera over and we'll show you putting these pickups in. All right, so right now I'm just kinda making sure the wires are gonna go where they need to go. Important to know where your neck, middle, and bridge is. Here was where the bridge was, the middle was there, and the neck was there. So I'll kinda just start to trace the wire through there. And I'll trim it to length, but I like to kind of get get the idea of where it's going to go before I even start flowing any solder, just to keep it all safe. 
All right, and so this one was our middle. You can kind of trace it through there. I'm gonna use that little clip to hold it down. Here was our neck. And you can do, do all manner of things like, you know, putting little dashes to remember which, which wire is which, because you definitely don't want to put it together and realize you uh, flipped your, your pickups around. And now I'm kind of cueing all the grounds to come over here. You can kind of see that. See, here's my neck, middle, and bridge grounds, and I'll put them together and I'll probably solder them right there on the same spot. But here's our bridge. And I kind of like to keep it in, you know, thinking of the cavity in mind and how easy this is going to be to tuck if, if possible. So now from here, I'll kind of go back a little bit farther than I need. And then we can trim these. Okay. Got those going where they need to go. I like to do the grounds first, just to make sure that that gets all done. And I'll give a little bit of length here, just so that I will be able to potentially reuse these pickups if need be. these types of pliers for pulling out the, the push back. You can get a little bit by hand, but sometimes it'll just push right back to where, where it was. Lots of different ways to do this. You can twist them, but sometimes I feel like you can shred the wires pretty darn good. So I'm gonna see if I can bundle these all together. Switch all the way. Can you still see the grounds? Yep. I'm just flowing some solder on here to tin them all together. It's not really going. They're not really touching. It's my big old head in the way. No, you're great. Cool. So that maybe is a little bit much, but. Definitely will come in handy when we try and solder this. So those tweezers are nice because they kind of do hold a little bit mini clamp in a way. Yeah. So it's like an extra set of hands and you're always fine when you install stuff that that's just a Which constant mean. issue. I uh, like to just kind of not mess up the pots more than I have to. So I will definitely just try and solder on the same spot and you can kind of like bend the wire and the weight of that kind of helps hold it down on there. So you're not You'll still have to kind of make sure that you're not doing anything weird and um, you're making contact, like you'll put some pressure on it, but it'll help you keep everything where it needs to stay. Pin a little bit. And then I will, I have some other ones, but. Just kind of get it started flowing. Once these are grouped together, I might be use the same pliers that I had and just make sure these stay on there. And just kind of let it do its thing for a little bit. If Sometimes if you move it too quick, the solder is still liquid and then you have to redo it. Solder flies everywhere. It's not great. So now we got all the grounds on there. We still got that little resistor hooked up and now there's some wire kind of protecting it. You can see they're all hooked up in there. Nice shiny solder joint. Now all that's left is the hot of the pickup. So what is moving the signal? This is our middle, this is our bridge, and this is our neck. So we'll use these to pull out our leads. Love the pushback wire too, by the way. to get these out of here sometimes. 
That's why the pliers are very useful. And I will even... This is a completely optional step. I just find I have a lot more success with these things right here. I'm just gonna get the solder out of there because sometimes the solder is not looking great. So let's just have a little solder vacuum here. And then it'll make it really easily and then we can queue up the wires where they need to go and then just solder all three in the same kind of motion. Okay, we got all the solder out of there, enough to get these leads in there. And then we'll use the same tweezers. And there's the people that will hook them in there. I just like to kink them a little bit to get them in there and then you can still get them out. All right, so you can see I got the neck, the middle, and the bridge. If you look, the white leads you can trace back. I've got all the grounds on the same ground, you know, solder joint. And now I'm just gonna flux these up a little bit. They are making mechanical contact, mechanical connection. So we'll just flow a little bit of flux. This stuff is pretty squirrely stuff as far as it'll go where it's gonna go and you just kinda gotta learn how it operates. But got the flux, got all the solder joints on there, gonna give it a quick little tin. And just not much at all. I removed the solder because I did feel like the solder from the factory, it looked like they had burned some of the insulation on the on the solder joint there and I just wanted to make sure that there would be no issues at all. So doing what we do best right here. All right, they're hooked up nice and shiny. Now I'm just gonna trim them and we are gonna test. All right, so we clipped the strings off and now we got the output jack back on there. And now we're just gonna do a quick hook up to the amp and tap test to make sure it all works. I will put the screws back in there. And if you plug it in and even if there's no strings on it, you can tap it with something magnetic, like a screwdriver, and you'll be able to hear an audible sound when you're in the pickup collector suite. All right. All right, we got the finishing touches yeah, on Yeah, a little it. bit of quick pickup height adjustments. Man, that was quite the project. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that was interesting for you guys to follow along with the, uh, the install and, and the five surprises that we ran into during the install. But um, I'm excited to kind of hear how this thing sounds. And you were just right at the beginning there, just kind of setting the a poor man's pickup height really quick. Do you have a kind of a general way that you like to set up the strap pickups? Well, uh, I do kind of the thing that I do, and this is to me is like the salt and pepper to taste. Like every, you know, yeah. you'd be surprised at how much you like a pickup if you just raise it like a tiny little screw turn. But I'll uh, fret it at the last fret to see how low the string is gonna go. And then I'll just try and get a nice even distance, maybe even um, whatever your action is at the 12th fret, just kind of do that same height, like touching the magnet. It's yeah. just kind of my rule of thumb, but again, you know, everybody's different and you might like it a little bit more aggressive or, or less, you know, subdued. I know people that dump their neck pickups all the way down and then they raise <laughs> their bridge pickups all the way up. Yeah. But that's just kind of where I get started and then, you know, then we'll kind of find how it sounds and see see what we like. Yeah, I'm just turning the amp off because it's got the oh, yeah. hum. So, so if you were hearing the hum, that Again, was what that we was. We were very low budget, uh, but we do want to show you as much stuff as we can. So if that was interesting for you to check that out, uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Let's go ahead and listen to how this guitar sounds, and then we'll be right back at the end. Yeah. So that was a quick look at how the guitar sounds, just a very quick run through of the different positions 
with the Hybrid Plus pickups. If you're interested in the Hybrid Plus pickups, we'll have a link for that in the description. If you have questions or comments about the install, maybe it's now becoming a little bit more intimidating with all of the things we had to do with modifying those. Just keep that in mind as you look at this, and maybe this is helpful to maybe avoid a few of those steps. It can be done, it's possible. There's just quite a bit more mm -hmm. more hoops to jump through, and, yeah. and we, we did run into quite a bit of that stuff. So thanks for watching, thanks for hanging with us. This is a, Definitely been a fun project and we'll be back with another more extensive uh, playing video of this guitar. We're gonna show it to the customer that we got it set up for, get his reaction. He's gonna come into the shop and actually kind of get his first reaction and, and play through this guitar. So we'll be back with that. Mm -hmm.